Mark, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I have got no idea. We did not talk about it, but it's <laughs> black on black. Black on black. Black shoe, red shoe, yes. red jacket. <laughs> What's going on? We need to find out. <laughs> interesting because we're continuing the conversation yeah. we started last week on closet and yes. i don't know what they say about your closet <laughs> or my or my closet or oh, you're doing the thing are you reading my no mind? i'm not no i'm innocent Mac? of this no, viewers no. <laughs> are you no i'm innocent of this hmm. <laughs> Hmm. But it's really coming out really good. Yes, I love, I, I I like love the black and, and black. And it's very and red. bold Thank for you. a man to just show up with a red one. Thank you. And I it's not your, it's crimson. It's it is. Very it is crimson red. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. We're still continuing on the conversation on closet. Yes, we are. And we talked about how the different ways we put our clothes in our closets. And it doesn't need to be ili akuhang, inezakwani suitcase, inezakwani sanduku, inezakwa, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But how, how do you panga your clothes? We went through a couple of those. Yes. And you picked out on what different types of um, panga na personalities zao. Absolutely. So today we're getting deeper. Today we're going deeper Mwikali and um, you know just how you phrased it which is which is really important for our viewers who just tuned in. You know I was just thinking this from a fantasy point of view. Okay. If our closets, our wardrobes and our suitcases could have a conversation. <laughs> They'd have a lot to say about our emotional yes. intelligence and also about our emotional health. So precisely today, we are really going deeper and so <coughs> sort of stretching it out on precisely what it says about us and yeah. what it says about our fashion, impression, and more so about relationships because it's about relationship circle. Okay. You know, it's fair to say, if you do not know how to handle your own emotions, then how would you handle someone else's emotions? And the closet has a lot to say about this. You know, there are certain ways to view this. There, there are closets, Mwikali, that you'd open, and you see clothes are jumbled up. And it gives the impression that this person has a variety of interests. Mm -hmm. And having this variety of interests, it means that they dislike routines. So they're curious people, they love new experiences. Yes. So if you enter into a relationship with this person, mm -hmm. routine will be their biggest challenge, yes. or rather your biggest challenge. Mm -hmm. You're entering into this relationship knowing that routine will not be the ideal thing. It will work for some time, but they respond better to new experiences. Then we have Mwikali, people who you can never tell whether it's a closet or it's a bedroom because some of the clothes are just spread out in the bedroom. And I was thinking about that right <laughs> now when you were talking. I was just like, did we ever talk about these people who just try out different outfits in the morning? It's like, this, this one, it doesn't go with my booty. <laughs> eh. And then you're like, so who is going to put all these clothes back, back on the Back in thing? the closet. Who will do that? <laughs> And, and when, when it comes to that point, like you said, we have issues with social, emotional development. Now, okay. that's a new word we are bringing in today because it gives the impression that they are open to other people's opinions and they have so much experiences. So sometimes it's not career triggered. Mm -hmm. It's how they handle their emotions. They're not really s decided or planned out on what they really want. Okay. So everything has to come out of the closet, spread out. I might wear this. I might wear this again. Who's going to return all this? It's still going to be me. Ah, I'll do this later. Okay. So there's procrastination mm. beyond mm. that social emotional development. Here's the challenge okay. on the extreme end. You will know that you cannot keep issues between the both of you. Ah. At some point, let me start with the ladies version. Issues, remember, clothes are giving the impression of how you handle your EQ. Yes. Then you know things will never be in their place, which is in the closet, the wardrobe. Things are scattered out. So will your issues. So will your emotions. Somebody among the cliques, perhaps you're aware of it or not, your issues will go beyond where they need to be. Okay. Be it a, a lady, you, you're going to know even if as a guy you'll have those challenges. If you're that kind of guy, you know that things are not kept under wrap. That is what it says on the extreme end because clothes need to be in the closet or they need to be in the wardrobe. So we have issues with boundaries and keeping it within our domain. You act out just as your clothes are spread out. Mm. You do not contain your emotions. Mm. Everybody else is going to know your business and this needs to be within your affair. Okay. 
So we do have two scenarios here, Moikali. Okay. That is the first one. And we may have clothes that are scattered out within the closet. So that is more of a personal issue. Mm -hmm. Within the closet and outside the closet, or outside the closet, in on the bedroom, uh, in the bedroom space, that's precisely what it says. And then there are people, Mwikali, who are very tidy. By tidy, they go on another level. These are people who clean the walls of their closet or their wardrobe, clean the hangers, need to have specific hangers. Perhaps it's not wires, they're irritated by wires and plastic and wood sort of hangers. Mm -hmm. If it's plastic, it's plastic all through. And one color. And one color. Mm -hmm. If they're going to mix match, then we know that red represents perhaps shirts, black represents blazers. Mm. This impression gives a very tidy person. These are people who follow the rules to the detail. These are people who can be successful because they are very particular, very amicable people. These are people that you know they are reliable. And to bring an extra ingredient about these personalities, yeah. the clothes before they enter into the closet are ironed mwikali before the clothes are inside <laughs> the closet. <laughs> okay. You know, naturally we'd have these creased clothes, we yes. will iron them. and As you wear them. As you wear them. Okay. They're going to iron these clothes before they're in the closet. Then they will iron them again before they wear them. So we have a very detailed oriented person. These are people who are very particular. On the extreme end, it may say challenges with burnout because they have a um, very particular emotion skill set. So you enter into a relationship with these people, you know now things need to be defined. When you, are you angry, are you bitter, or are you sad? Or you have to be very specific with your emotions. Mm. Don't just say I'm angry and perhaps you're bitter. Perhaps you're frustrated. Could you uh, clarify for me precisely what you're going through? So these are people who are very particular. Then we have the fashionista. The fashionista, these are the first people who are going to complain that the closet is too small because mm -hmm. they need space. Mm -hmm. They need a lot of space. And they may even have these walk-in wardrobes. These mm -hmm. are people you're going to tell through how they organize their clothes that these are people who like new trends, new clothes. So it says something about them. Very colorful. It's a colorful closet. Then we have people who put um, personal effects um, in, 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 in the closet, which gives a new scope. Oh. That that could have hairbrushes with with hair okay. still within the hairbrush. Yes, you could have some dolls, you could have some toy cars, things I, items that are very sentimental to the person. So the wardrobe has a lot to say about people. Sometimes you find even some clothes that um, actually have a generational aspect to it. Mm. So okay. they tell a story. Very sentimental. Very sentimental stuff. Like I said, dolls and toys and, and very personal effects about the person, which tells a story. You'd rather ask them, what's the story behind this? And you might find it's something they either went through or it's very particular to them. Then we have some closets that have a very formal display. You can see that about 90% of the closet is just formal clothes. You even wonder, do they have room for sportish or sports yeah. <laughs> in their lives? Mm -hmm. So you can tell that these people have very structured appearances. Ah, okay. That's what it says about them. So all these are avenues that we can tell about someone's personality in the closet. Question. I'm open. Um, you have your clothes well arranged, but you always pick out maybe same outfit there's one moja. when you talked about clothes having conversations <coughs> mm -hmm. or your closet having conversations <laughs> like guys it's me again <laughs> it's my turn again again she wore me last week i just got <laughs> washed guys you know what i mean yes what I would do. that mean or oh, what what is that where you feel yes you have all these other clothes but you feel comfortable to wear just Partic some particular clothes mm. Would you be surprised that there are people who wear some clothes for emotional protection? What? Emotional protection. What is that? There are certain consistencies, there are certain colors that we respond to better. There are certain clothes we respond to better because they make us feel in charge, in control, and we have a voice. We have power that we can moderate.
there are certain there are certain clothes if there cons there is consistency in, in regards to the question you asked me certain consistent consistency to certain clothes or certain colors that you're more inclined to wear certain colors you just want to have that emotional control or emotional protection against facing the world mm. sometimes it could be career based sometimes it's something to do with you this yeah. is where we did a show uh, based on also colors as well yes. but the consistency speaks about the certain clothes that you wear and you want to represent yourself you want to say i'm here okay you want to do it either subtly mm -hmm. or you want to improvise and have some perfumes some colognes to kind of enhance your presence so this is about personality presence this is about being either identified with certain colors or certain clothes to give a certain impression would it also work the other way if uh, maybe someone is trying to hide from the world where you're not being seen so it's okay for me to always wear certain colors or wear certain clothes that do not call attention to myself spoken like a true coach ah! <laughs> because <laughs> universal <the> certificate <laughs> They are certain okay. there's a reverse yes, to it. psychology to this mm -hmm. and there's also a reverse personality side to this okay. and sometimes it may appear that you want to give a diversion away from yourself. Yes, yes you walk in a certain way mm -hmm. but you want to divert it. You want to divert that attention so you kind of play um, um, low which gives the impression that there are certain closets that you can come in with Kali and you open up and you see like there are minimal clothes and you're asking them where are the rest of the clothes yeah publicly you look like you have all these clothes yeah. huge closet but when i come to your to your closet or to your wardrobe there's just a minimal or minimalistic sort of approach to things it's a minimalistic mindset these are people who can have white basic colors white black blue perhaps even pink have yeah. trousers for that mm -hmm. they're good in combinations they don't feel the need to have so many so colors mm. so much therefore they're just going to have so little but be so critical on the combinations these are now people who do not want a diversion to themselves they want maybe i give an impression a very subtle impression i'm there yes it's a very clean design yes they have if you look at them on a detail um have a detailed approach you can see this are fa is a fashion forward person everything is on point but in in, in the minimal so mm -hmm. they do not want mm -hmm. attention to themselves it's mm -hmm. what i call the dexter look you even get the impression where you see some certain corporates have one single outfit yeah one single color that's what i mean by the dexter look white black that's all they do but it's some clean design some clean design it's simply because they do not want to have a lot of attention around themselves okay but they're making a lot of noise in other ways. I'm thinking, um, you mentioned something earlier, uh, Mac, about how the way you threw around probably will pick the, your clothes are all over. And that tells you that your issues are all over. Yes. And maybe at this moment you've realized that, oh my God, that is so me. It has not been working for me. It's not doing me any good. That could it, could you use this as an exercise to always remind you mm -hmm. that the moment you want to spill or say things outside that let me just I will fold my clothes as I remind myself <laughs> to keep my business <laughs> in to this closet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it does work like that. Mm -hmm. So we are looking at two scenarios here, Mwikali. Okay, the scenario where one could be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And one who is in a relationship, we are talking about now personality compatibility, yes. which means if you may not work on that side, someone else is going to come and help you organize that aspect. And then we're looking at a different scenario where it's personal. You just want this self-growth as a reminder that you really need to work on those personal spaces. Yeah. Yes, I'm seeing everything is disorganized. It's telling me my EQ is misplaced. My emotional hygiene needs to unlearn my procrastination habits. So once I unlearn, I need to relearn what works out for me. 
Okay. Therefore, I do not excel in pressured situations. Mm. Why? Because clothes are scattered. Mm. I may say today I'm going to fold, I'm learning, I'm growing. And it's a good personal exercise if we are working on personal growth and personal development okay. where it acts as a reminder, hey, um, perhaps the way you're feeling today, do work on the folding, that's great. You didn't finish everything, but that's, that's okay. Yeah. You'll come and attend to it. Yeah. So that can work precisely well if it's personal growth. Now, the dynamics change, Mukali, mm -hmm. when it comes to relationship compatibility. Okay. This is where some people come into our lives mm -hmm. and change everything that we know or reorganize how we view stuff. Okay. Because like we said, it's about emotional intelligence and it's about emotional hygiene, generally speaking. Therefore, if I disorganize my clothes and I'm into a relationship um, with you and you really like things folded before they enter into the closet. So we have either two scenarios here within that relationship compatibility aspect. Okay. If I have my closet and you have yours, we know who's more disorganized than the other. If we are sharing one closet or one wardrobe, then this is where the rubber meets the road. Ooh. This is where now we know what are we going to do away with, what EQ works and which one should sustain us. Okay. Because my disorganization will throw you out of balance or either your pre-organized way of things will challenge mine. Okay. So in this space, the personality development has, I have no option because I'm living with somebody yes. and she's going to keep me on toes. Yes. She has, so in here when I was, when we were talking about these two scenarios where I may have the time to improve because I'm solo, yes. I'm alone. This is different. This is different this dynamics. Is different. Th so there's a bit of pressure for that. But then if you're putting in the work because you love who you were with and you'd like to see it work, then you will put in the work. You will put in the work. Do you, uh, or probably if you get somebody who can help you do it, <laughs> well, good for you. Mark, our time is up. Oh my, oh my. How can people get in touch with you directly? I see so many questions, but we didn't have time today. You can just direct them straight to Mark. All right. So it's in YouTube, that's Mark Mbogwa. In Instagram, that's Mark underscore Mbogwa. At Twitter, it's at Gifted Purpose. And finally, in Facebook, that is Mark Mbogwa. Let's engage. Okay. And I promised to give you some winners. So here we are. Uh, your number ends with an 882 and you're called Paris and you want to study hospitality management at Kips. You say you have a passion for cooking. Eliza from Ruiro, you want to do food security. Your number ends with a 960. Congratulations. Uh, I'm Lynette Nlimaliza from 42018. I've never joined any college. I'm thinking of joining Kips to study cosmetology. Your number ends with 696 and we have Sony who wants to pursue hotel management 197 uh switch my name is timo from gong at kips college i'd like to study computer engineering because i have a passion about it so much and your number ends the 600 so congratulations all of you you can pick uh, your gifts at switch tv studios we're in south sea so just come in and uh, we'll definitely give them to you we're taking a very short commercial break but when you come back because it's a wednesday you know the couple of fitness keep us on our toes and I don't know if I'm a part of this, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll be right back.